Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. If your video is about to start shortly, please take this opportunity to hit the like button down below, leave some comments, tell your friends. Interaction, likes, subscriptions help my channel to grow and help me to keep producing content for yourselves. If you're new to my channel, check out the other videos that I've got. There are over 500 videos at this stage, so there should be something there for everybody. Again, video is about to start. Hit that like button down below. Hi guys, I'm going to tie a fly tonight that I've had a lot of requests uh, to tie. But I didn't want to tie the fly until I was sure I had the right dressing for it. Now this fly is the Moi Special. Uh, and this fly has had a lot of traction on the internet lately. And this is a fly invented by a guy called Cain O'Boyle. Now Cain uh, has his own site called Cain O'Boyle Fly Fishing and Fly Tying. But you'll find him on Facebook uh, and if you want to buy the flies off him you can give him a message uh, also I think he does the odd bit of guiding as well depending on availability so uh, Kane has thankfully uh, supplied me with the dressing of the fly so we're going to go ahead and uh, dress it as you can see it's a uh, quite a colorful striking fly uh, and would suit uh, peaty water and uh, colored water so uh, we're going to Zoom out and uh, have a go at it. So, as you can see, the head uh, is quite prominent on this fly, uh, and I think that adds a striking point to it. And it also has uh, a, a second strike point at the back here. And what is unusual about it is the use of the sort of, to me, underused uh, different colors of holographic tinsel. So, this uses a Holographic orange tinsel for the body. So, right. I'm going to tie it on a size 8. This is a Nordic Opai hook. However, uh, I'd say for where it's intended for, you'd probably be tying a lot more in size uh, 10s and 12s. So, the but on this fly is a glow bright. I'm going to use glow bright number four and I'm going to use it for the head as well. But for the actual tying of the fly, I'm going to use a white gel spun. So I'm going to add that on. And because this is an eight, I'm going to go with a little bit of uh, silver oval as a butt or tag, shall we say. But if you were getting down in sizes, because there's a few materials in this fly, you could probably dispense with the oval here and move to wire or omit the tag altogether. I'm going to run that up over the top. So, tail on this fly is an orange Arctic runner. I'm going to take a bunch of that. So I think runner has uh, some of the properties of bucktail, but it's more mobile. Still has that nice dead straight to it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, misalign it slightly. So I'm grabbing some of the tips and just pulling it. Therefore, I end up with uh, like a taper to my tail. in there so I'm just going to strip a little bit away and I'm happy with it I'm just going to trim that add it to the top and hold it in place so a uh, little bit of uh, pearl mirror flash Crinkle Mirage I'm going to use here. One strand, double it back over itself. Hold it up on top. And tie back till we hit that tag. So 
trim that strand off. So I'm going to take my white thread here to the front. And I'm going to swap to my Glowbrite number four here. And I'm just going to start it on the shank. that little trigger point butt at the back. So, just take that up the body just to get it tied off. I'd left this tag end here. I'm going to turn it and take it down the body. And I'm going to tie in the orange holographic at the front, take it down and back up again. So, but to make our butt here more durable, I'm just going to run a bit of clear varnish. of it off. So I'm going to tie in the orange holographic tinsel here and then I'm going to take my tie and silk down with the rib to the little butt section there and then come back body. Then wrap the orange holographic tinsel down until we hit that butt section. Once you get down there, because you've been traveling backwards, you just need to straighten the tinsel up again and then come back over itself. And in doing this two layers, then you ensure that you don't have any gaps showing through. And then we rib the body with the oval silver tinsel. So that is the tail and body of the fly done. So the wing of this uh, fly is in a couple of different portions. First being that we're going to use a little bit of yellow bucktail and that's to support the main wing. So I'm just going to take a few strands of this. You don't want to take too much otherwise you'll end up quite bulky. And we're just going to take a few strands of that and measure it down until it's around about half, meeting around about half the way down the tail. Transfer over, pinch loop, and tie that down. Trim that off and tighten that tie in up. And then we're going to put a little bit of uh, angel hair in here. So pearl or this is a slightly slightly yellow tinted pearl so I'm going to measure it back till it's the same length as the uh, bucktail and fold it back there's only a few strands there but that'll just give that pearly accent within the wing so Main wing then, I'm going to use uh, a dyed yellow uh, shadow fox. Arctic fox, whatever you want to call it. 
I think fox masks give you the best quality hair for these types of, of wings. So we take our little bunch, I'm going to measure it up top there, transfer hands, trim, trim that up. sort of a couple of wraps just to set it in place. Now what I'm going to do is to take a little bit of super glue just run it on about two centimeters of the tying thread and wrap over those tie-in points. See that's all adding or working in with the flow of the fly. So uh, I've seen him tie this uh, fly without jungle cock and with jungle cock. So we're going to put jungle cock on here. A couple of small jungle cock eyes. One for each side, just match them up for a length, hold them in place and tighten down onto that. The jungle cock tends to be slippy so I do tend to put either a little bit of super glue or a little bit of varnish on or a couple of wraps just to hold that in place. So at um, this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap over onto my Glow Bright again for putting in the hackle and the head. So I just start that as if you were whipping it on to begin a fly. And to finish this fly what we need to do is put on an orange badger hackle. So I've doubled the hackle here. I have videos on doubling uh, in my techniques section if you want to have a more in-depth look at doubling a hackle. I'll look there. So, tied in by its tip. fingers in the road because uh, I'm manipulating the stock as I go to make it lay the way I want rather than it all laying straight back or all sticking straight out whichever it chooses to do of its own accord so I'm just rotating the uh, orientation of the stock as I go so once that's tied off, it's a matter of creating either as big or as small a head as you feel like. Glowbright makes a really nice head on it. It's something I utilize myself in uh, like the Glowbright Curries type pattern. I think it really sets it off, makes it pop in that sort of water. So I'm just going to take a little bit of super glue here and just set or varnish the, the head with that. Trim that off and then whenever that dries it'll get a coat of uh, Sally Hansen's clear. So hopefully you like that 
and said if you do, give us a like, subscribe, tell your friends, check out all the other videos on the channel, check out Kane's page, and uh, until next time, tight lines, and thanks for watching.